Chair, uh, my vacation and teaching schedule kind of precluded me from coming to a bunch of meetings, so I figured it'd be better off for somebody who's, who has the ability to be here all the time. Who was the chair? So, does anybody want to take on the not so onerous task of being the chair? Should we wait to have everyone here before making such a? Large we can, decision? but I will be here next meeting. Okay. So you and you can you can certainly do it then. I was going to refuse myself from voting anyway because I'm yeah. the chair stepping down. I don't think I do that, or I should do that. Your discretion, there's no need to. Right, okay. Any vote that, sorry, not to interrupt, any vote that you make, though, without your vote, not pressuring you either way, will fail because there are not enough people otherwise to vote. Oh, tonight, right. Yeah, okay. okay. All right. Well, do you, do, would you like to move that to the next meeting? Yeah. I know Rich Barlow will be back in town. Um, Ian Weston said he's going to be late, so mm -hmm. we can actually I want to push it off a little later on meeting too. Okay. All right. Um, so crosswalk has come up several times in our discussions. Um, everything from something simple like spray painting just inspirational messages in between white lines to um, you know full on artwork. I don't know what the DOT rules are about putting art on a public road with a public crosswalk. Um, if I can bring up Ms. Falco. I do know a little bit about it. <laughs> yes. um, uh, I think basically anything is fine to paint as long as it's indicated, you know, like the proper traffic lines are indicated for the crosswalk. So the outside board. Right. Mm -hmm. Not the necessarily the stretch. You know, Greg would have to confirm that, but I'm pretty sure the outside borders would suffice. So the city has asked that for any approval process that the permitting go through city clerk's office, application be filed, reviewed by city administrator, and Department of Public Works. They would ask that any material be used not to be slippery in nature, and that it does remain within the white designated lines. Okay. Following approval of the location, the application would then be forwarded to your attention for review as far as design. Okay. Could we get that in writing from the city administrator's office sure. to send to us so that we had now have an approval process that we can send? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and if you're good with it, he said we'll start working on the application and get that to you guys for your next meeting. Great. Thank you. Perfect. Um, could you want to talk about where your mural is going to go, Emily? Um, okay, yes. So this is not as a council person. This is as an artist in the community. I. Um, I'm going to be painting a mural on the sidewalk outside of the Historical Society. It's through a grant with the New York Preservation League. So it's kind of, it's going to kind of mimic the colors and the historic tile that you see in some of the entryways, and it's gonna say Historic Oneonta. Um, but yeah, what I talked to Jim about this because Katie LaPartie was kind of part of the conversation at the beginning of it and kind of brought me into it with the Historical Society and there were some other people from city staff that were involved and so I'm thinking like, oh yeah, this is great, we're just approving this and going forward. Then he's like, well, what about the Arts Commission? And I'm like, oh yeah, and I'm on that, right? So I think, I mean, I don't know if, I think I sent it to all of you, right? Yep. So yeah. unless there's some kind of, you know, it's unless you don't, don't want it. Does everyone remember the email with pictures? Yes. yes. Okay. Right. Great. But then, you know, it is definitely a good idea, like, moving forward to have some kind of process. I mean, it could be 
I think for a sidewalk, perhaps it could be the same as a crosswalk or something similar, or I don't know. I think it'd be good to have some kind of procedure in place yeah. though, so people just don't, aren't like, oh, I want to paint up my front of my store and I'm going to use spray paint and bad language. Right. right. So I think I shared with that emails from Greg about setting up an approval process with the Public Art Commission. So we can go back through those emails and once we get something from um, the city clerk, we can develop, I mean, it'll probably be just along the lines of what she's writing us and say this is our approval process. I was going to say, do you want uh, the draft that I send you to include sidewalk art in public? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, sidewalk art and um, the DOP stuff for um, the crosswalks. And it really, it should be, I mean, we have, in, in theory, an approval process for public art, but we can narrow this one down for crosswalk art because we do probably have to deal with DOTs, regulations, and um, it, if it includes sidewalk art, it's just a bonus. It's, it's all in the same package. So if we have some artist who wants to post something, we'll we put out an RFP. We can just send out the one document. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions? Great. Um, OCI funding for individual art projects. Just a reminder that the city has, uh, what does the OCI stand for again? Oneonia Community Initiative. Oneonia oh, Community Initiative. They have thousand, up to thousand dollar grants for individuals who um, have an idea to improve the life of people in Oneonia. So this could be one thing that artists can apply for. Um, and that thousand dollars actually kind of mirrors what we spent on the um, Fort Shields one. Now we got like more than we, you know, than we paid for in that one because uh, the artists just wanted to keep going and ask permission. We were like, yeah, that's great. And it turned out, I think, really well. With, I think, one bad comment on Facebook. <laughs> so, so it, that's okay. Um, so the, the city's got a, like a information on the website, and you know, if we as a commission we want to send that out to the artists we know and share it on social media, that would be fantastic. Yeah, and I think with that, um, just be clear, that's not something that goes through us as in mm -hmm. terms of approvals. That's something that goes to the individual versus, um, I don't want anyone confused thinking they want to do one of these and they have to come to us in order to do it. No, they have to go, the, 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 the flyer I think on the city's website has got a QR code that brings them to a web page where they sign up for it. Okay. But we should probably be in the approval process. Mm -hmm. It was gonna be a public art. Well, I don't want to just blurt out anything. <laughs> um, so one thing about the OCI that I know is that there has to be kind of a case made that it is, I don't know if it can just be public art. Um, I think it would have to have a little bit more community involvement, like as far as like bringing people together. So you could have a work, an artist workshop that like involves a community coming to paint a giant mural together, mm -hmm. maybe, or like, have someone that's going to supply materials for everyone to make some kind of little sculpture, like fairy houses or something, and then it gets put all over the city. But it's got to have that like larger community involvement. Okay. That's part of the um, simulation. It, it does say that on the mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, I know Roxbury Art Group did sidewalk painting in front of their place, and it didn't weather winter very well. I don't know. What Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think people use various things. Like, I've been kind of doing a lot of research and asking people from what I've learned. I don't think that a lot of like sidewalk murals or place or crosswalks they don't hold up very well because there's traffic, just traffic over yeah. them, right? Yeah. Um, but like, I think what I'm gonna try and use for the uh, sidewalk mural I'm painting is like a masonite uh, or like a mason um, paint mm -hmm. or like a concrete paint that would be used for patios. So it won't be slick, and it's designed to adhere to concrete, and we'll see how that holds up, I guess. Okay, well, great. So. Okay. <laughs> um, um, think about, uh, I talked to the executive director of the Foothills. They are now amenable to doing a mural. Um, <clears throat> Should we, I mean, I'm assuming we would put out with them an RFP. But let's 
figure out, I can, we can talk to Jeff Doyle, maybe we can get him into a meeting and talk about, you know, sectioning up one portion of the building to start with. Mm -hmm. Maybe the portion that faces up uh, Chestnut Street Extension. Yeah. And pick a theme. As, I don't know if we could do that as a public recognition. Yeah. Oh, I've been lobbying to, for that area for a million years to do a mural similar to the one in Philadelphia called The Muses, where uh -huh. it's all the different performing artists. Okay. Um, it's a beautiful mural and spectacular to look down the street and use local talent like Carlo Bedial and Jason and, you know, just different Decker Ballet. Or, so I have a lot of photos of that mural. If okay. anybody wants to see them, I'll send them out. You know what it looks like. I think so. Well, maybe it's not. the one. Maybe not. Oh, I'll, I'll send it out to everybody. Okay. And I, I sent out to everybody the RFP that Cooperstown used, which yeah, is pretty yeah. thorough. Yep. Very good. Um, even specifies what kind of paint to use and, and uh, sealant. And I think Golden Paints like, does most of that stuff. Yeah. Okay, great. That's good. I don't know if we want to entertain the whole Jerry Jeff Walker, Alan Galatoro, Paul Rubens thing. The stages? Well, that was like one of the thoughts that, you know, different people have come to talk to me. And if we had Doug Decker here. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, Al wants to do something for Al Galadoro. Right. Um, and I don't know if that would be like, you know, knocking down three birds with one stone or, or what, but I maybe just, maybe in a, a thematic RFP that says, you know, theater muses and then. We'll get in their requests. Maybe we'll, we'll, you know what we'll people want to do, and then pick something. But I, uh, one of the things I want to talk to the city administrator about is what the budget is going to be. Yeah. And good. like we said earlier, I think we sent the information out last month or something like that. We're sort of limited now to Market Street from Main Street to the end of Foothills. Right. So. So the other part. Was um, public safety building. Uh, there's been a request by uh, a member of the community who's in the audience right now to do a public safety themed mural on the public safety building. Uh, and that may be another thing we want to do to figure out with the police chief, fire chief, where they want to building and what their ideas of what it would be. Well, I think with Foothills, it would be helpful just getting a representation come to the meeting or someone just to talk about really flesh out what they're looking for and what we can do. Right. Um, yeah. And then we can kind of go from there. Yeah. Let's assume we would try to use what we have money wise and they would supply some of their own and kind of work that out. Um, I guess that would be ideal. That would be ideal, yeah. yeah but like every other not for profit. Yeah. yeah. They are uh, hurting for money. But we definitely want them here because they're they need to participate in the selection. Yeah. It's not a public space building. Same thing with the safety building. Right. We can get mm -hmm. Jim yeah. down here. Okay. All right. Uh, utility box wraps. Um, there are two utility boxes prominent in that space. Yeah, we can bring it out. Um, I've asked the clerk to bring up uh, Street View of Market Street. And basically, there's a utility box at uh, the market. At the main street side of Clinton Plaza on uh, Market Street, right there. And then there's one at the driveway entrance by the copper box. And this could be a great place to test the idea of utility box wraps. If we, because that's where we can spend money right now. I think there's another utility box farther down, just past Sydney Federal. Down on my corner or closer up to the corner here in this one, yeah. Yeah. And so actually, we probably can't use the one by City Federal because that's past the foothills. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was going to say there's the one in front of the parking garage, too, but that's right. past. But that's going to, the parking garage is presumably going to come down. Yeah. That's what they're going to talk about. You're going to talk about Thursday. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. So I know, I think that one is city owned. Um, I'm not sure about the other two, and that's, well, that's a question for the city. So, I'm trying to think, we, did, did we ever get a, like a sample 
RFP for the utility box for house? I think like in the beginning, like we talked about it. We talked about it. I know uh, Ian got us some stuff from a company that does the wraps. Right. Um, really. I don't think we really went much farther than that. Right. So what you probably do is get a sample RFP. I mean, I see these things in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I've seen them all there or not. I just saw them in Glens Falls the other day. Oh, Glens Falls? Yeah. Do you know anybody there? No. Okay. It's a dentist. <laughs> all right. I'll, I'll call up in Glens Falls to see if they have a book. Yeah. They have a number of RFPs online too. You just download a quick search. Okay, oh cool. They seem to have a theme sort of for kid friendly ones. Right. There's a whole bunch of them online. Oh, they have a whole bunch of them. They're beautiful. The Bowling Alley Rondats. No, they're not. Parts District. Yeah. All you do is just put in utility box art wraps. Wow. There's an article, uh, what is this, from August 29, 2022, looking for a second wave of King's electrical boxes. Here's one from Southeast Minneapolis. With the, it's got the digital specifications for photo submissions and everything for the wraps. Let's uh, send that out to everybody. We can use that. Okay. Now, when we do the call for artists um, for the utility boxes, do we want to give an option to either paint or wrap, or are we just going to stick with straight wraps for now? I don't know what's the decision we can make. I, li I like the idea of giving the artist the option because it's you know their preferred medium, and like we've talked about, the wraps allow other people, not painters, to participate. Mm -hmm. um, so I wouldn't want to just exclude painters if that's what they want to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Quick question though, if we project a couple of years from now, if we want to change it, if it's painted on, somebody's going to have to take the paint off or, you know, or paint over it, I suppose, mm -hmm. while wrapping is more clearly a temporary thing that could be changed. I'm just thinking if it is a painter, they could submit a photo of their painting and it could become a wrap. I know it's not as tactile and interesting, but just I'm trying to like think if there would be any problems further down the line. I mean, I guess I, I don't know. Honestly, I've never yeah. dealt with that. I just, I've seen plenty of boxes painted. So if it yeah. is an issue, it must not be that bad. Okay, yeah. I, I, I like the idea of having that option for the artists, yeah. as long as uh, DOT, I guess, would be okay with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we put both options in the RFP. If that's what everyone agrees to? Sounds good. Okay, cool. Um, do you remember when you did the survey of the utility box? The city, when they bought the poles, did they buy the boxes too? I don't have an answer for that, but I can find out for you. Maybe it could be tied in with some grant funding, maybe as part of a transit hub or something. 
-hmm. So um, I contacted Golden Paints and and the artist and um, to find out like what kind of materials were used and what kind of needs um, to happen next in order to like remove that varnish. I think it's possible to put to remove it and then um, put new varnish on it because there's like an isolation layer in there. And then I just reached out this week to a possible conservationist to kind of get an idea about like how much that might cost. If, you know, assuming we're kind of interested in preserving that painting because it's got a, you know, because it's got an historical context and I would just hate to see it like mildew away in the art. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, I just wanted to update you guys on that. That's great. I think telling us our history of being trans is helpful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As long as it turns out it's not like a, a open, you know, bus station in Mule Park. No, I don't think that's an <laughs> at all. <laughs> um, One thing, I had sent that email around about the park that's below the library that they're going into their, and I'm getting all this information sort of second and third hand, but I just thought I'd bring it up that they are interested in having some sculptures in that space at some point. So I thought maybe our next meeting, we should have Tina, who is mm -hmm. my brain, come and talk to us about it. Would okay. that be? I can yeah. try to reach out to her. And um, David Hayes, in the past, mm -hmm. when I talked to him about the public art thing, said he would happily donate uh, a long-term loan of one of his father's sculptures. Mm -hmm. I think the city was What about insurance on these things? That's I would imagine we would have to have insurance on them too. But is a city is it self insured? No. 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 Okay. It's really typical. And they're steel, right? Yeah, they're, they're painted steel. I mean, they're, they're really rugged sculptures. I mean, yeah, so that would be great. But that, would be a good, that would be a good like starting point. Yeah. So Especially if you let them with primary colors, so it would be great for kids. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, because they did talk about it being kid friendly. So, yeah. yeah. Um, so I'll reach out to Tina and ask if yeah, she wants to attend good. our next meeting. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. All right, let's go back to the top then. If you want to do this now, would you like to do this now or do you want to wait for more people to be here? The president thing. What do what? The the, the new chair of the Arts Commission. Oh, I, what do you guys think? I would you yeah, know I'm not I would maybe say put it forward now because that way you have someone else to set the agenda for the next meeting and keep everything kind of moving forward. Um, that would be my thing. So. Cool. Does anyone here want to do it? I don't think I can do it. <laughs> I would do it, but I don't think I can. <laughs> I don't want to take on any more. <laughs> I've got I'm sort of drowning. No, yeah. 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 Do I want to? night uh, board so you know I have more time but I'm like you I'm traveling all the time and I'm not me making meetings and that's mm -hmm. a problem so if you yeah able to do it Ian you don't want to volunteer either okay <laughs> <laughs> looks like we we have do we have a quorum Make a motion that uh, Andrew Vitolo accepts the chair position of the Public Art Commission. I second that. Second? Okay. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Okay, great. Voting or abstaining? Uh, abstaining? Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to vote for myself. Oh. Also. <laughs> You're allowed to vote for yourself. But I will not be able to say Congratulations.
big thing is the budget and whether that money is encumbered for us, meaning it's put in an account that we can use or if it's still in the ether of the DRI money. Mm -hmm. So that would really, you know, would be the an important question. Okay. Well, I guess in the meantime, could we get together uh, the actual the call for this, the, the application for the utility boxes, get that all ready so once we know, we can just yeah. send it. Um, we still got a little momentum from what uh, we did on the Ford building, so hopefully we can keep the ball yeah. rolling. Um, would we, uh, then we should probably talk about how we're going to do the call. Are we going to, like, put it on the city website? You put it everywhere. You'll put it everywhere? Okay. Yeah. Like social media? And, okay. Has anybody ever used a website called Cafe? It sort of lists opportunities for artists, residencies, and things like that. Yeah. It's a, it's a platform, so you pay, like, a subscription, and a uh, subscription fee, and... Um, if you put up a call, you can then review people's work through it. It's C A and then the F and an E with an accent, um, but it's kind of worth looking at. It's not super expensive, um, but I know we're we're starting to use it at school for uh, an open call for a visiting artist. So, it's, and it, it does have interesting stuff to look at too for you know, opportunities. Callforentry.org if anybody wants to look at it. It's callforentry.org. Callforentry.org is the actual URL. And then plus we have the uh, Beat Street Lofts should be filling up this summer. Um, so if we can get a, I don't know if they have a foyer type deal in there, we can, you can just like tack stuff up or if we can get an email list of anyone in that building wants to sign up <coughs> to just get any calls sent to them, that'd be a good resource. Mm -hmm. um, well, we can use Kano's website. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. There's many places we can get it, the better. Okay. If we have some kind of flyer or something, I might, I could probably connect us with the developer of that project and they mm -hmm. might be able to that be, I don't know. Uh, Building manager the other day, I was walking oh, by and it's outside just watering. I didn't think of this then, but if I run into her again, I'll, I'll ask him about it. Oh, okay. Which um, The apartments on Deep Street? Oh, okay. Because a portion of that is for artists, so presumably it'd be a good resource. You can send it out to like Roxbury Arts Group or a sculpture space up in Utica, you know. <coughs> right, yeah. Sculpture space. That's the one with Gilbert Scott too. Chair, do we want do we entertain um I know it's a council of petitioners? Completely with the chair's discretion. Okay. I thought I was saying the next meeting. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is still your show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, from the public make big comments or questions. Mm -hmm. No? 